Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the U.S. 17 Widening Public Outreach Meeting. My name is Shelley Chin Kui, and I am the Project Manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will present information on the Department's plans to improve safety and enhance operations through this project. We encourage your feedback, and during the presentation, we will provide multiple ways you can submit your questions and comments to us about this project. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Thank you. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar and over the phone. If you dialed in today on the telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 410251-3. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4753, or email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The project limits for this project include US-17 from south of Spring Street to Lake Winona Road in Volusia County, a distance of approximately 1.5 miles. The purpose of the project is to enhance highway safety, improve capacity, extend the service life, enhance mobility, and to provide a scenic trail. This project follows the Approved Project Development and Environment, or PD&D, study for U.S. 17 from Ponce de Leon Boulevard to north of State Road 40. The study identified and analyzed alternatives for widening U.S. 17 from a two-lane undivided roadway to a four-lane divided roadway to accommodate future traffic demands, and the results of this analysis provided a basis for the selection of the recommended improvements. Public information meetings were held with the purpose of presenting the proposed access management improvements to the public and receive input. The initial plans were completed in 2011. In 2015, a shared use path was added to the project. A roundabout was incorporated at the US-17 and Spring Garden Ranch Road intersection in 2016. In order to more easily implement the design and construction, 
The project has been divided into three segments. This project is Segment 1. Segments 2 and 3 will collectively extend proposed corridor improvements from south of Lake Winona Road to north of State Road 40. Improvements include the continued widening of U.S. 17, a new bridge over Deep Creek, and a wildlife crossing culvert. The initial project segment from the PDND study proposes widening U.S. 17 from two lanes to four lanes and constructing a roundabout at the intersection of U.S. 17 and Spring Garden Ranch Road. The project also includes a five-foot-wide sidewalk from Ponce de Leon Boulevard to Spring Garden Ranch Road, a 12-foot-wide shared-use path from Spring Garden Ranch Road to Lake Winona Road, and a new entrance into the Division of Forestry compound. Three new drainage ponds are also proposed as part of the improvements. Immediately south of this project, FDOT is designing a safety improvement project that originally extended from Spring Garden Avenue, State Road 15A, to Ponce de Leon Boulevard. Recently, the FDOT decided to adjust the project limits so that this widening project will now include improvements at the intersection of U.S. 17 at Ponce de Leon Boulevard and East Baxter Street. Safety improvements being proposed at this intersection include the addition of traffic signals, the relocation of crosswalks within the school zone, and the closure of the median openings at Spring Street and West Baxter Street. To further enhance safety, the mid-block directional median opening currently available to allow left turns from the Louise McInnes Elementary student drop-off area onto southbound US-17 is proposed to be closed. All vehicles leaving the drop-off area will now be required to make a right onto US-17. Drivers wishing to travel south on US-17 would then need to make a U-turn at the newly proposed full median opening at Bridleland Road. This slide shows the proposed roadway typical section for this project. It consists of a four-lane divided roadway with two 12-foot travel lanes in each direction, an 8-foot inside shoulder, 2-foot paved, a 10-foot outside shoulder, 5-foot paved, and a 40-foot grass-separated median, a concrete sidewalk that varies in width from 5 feet to 12 feet is included. Through careful location planning, type, and design, access management improvements are being made throughout the corridor to improve safety and limit the number of potential conflicts along the roadway while balancing the need for mobility. The FDOT held a public information meeting to present the access management median openings and the recommended alignment for the U.S. 17 intersection at State Road 40. Median openings and any closures were updated throughout the design process. This slide shows the median openings and closures proposed within the project limits. All driveways and connections will be updated to the current department standards. At the U.S. 17 and Spring Garden Ranch Road intersection, FDOT evaluated multiple control options that would enhance operations and improve safety. A roundabout was determined to be the best option for this intersection. This slide shows the multi-lane roundabout concept being proposed. The 190-foot diameter roundabout was designed to accommodate large tractor-trailer trucks for all the turning movements. Pedestrian crossings on US-17 would also be equipped with rectangular rapid-flashing beacons, or RRFBs. 
Rectangular Rapid Flashing Beacons, or RRFBs, are flashing lights that give more visibility at marked crosswalks to alert drivers to pedestrians. The two rapid flashing yellow lights are mounted below a yellow pedestrian crossing sign. They remain dark until activated by a pedestrian wishing to cross. Roundabouts increase safety by dramatically reducing serious injury by 75% and fatal crashes by 90%. Roundabouts reduce travel delay by improving intersection efficiency. Roundabouts tend to be more environmentally friendly by reducing pollution and fuel consumption and typically require less space than a traditional signalized intersection. Links to more information on roundabouts can be found on the project website. What is a modern roundabout? A modern roundabout is a circular intersection where vehicles travel around the center island. Drivers must yield to traffic in the circle before entering. They have a truck apron to allow for trucks to make the wide turns. This design will have bike lanes and crosswalks for pedestrians and cyclists to travel through the intersection as well. Modern roundabouts also mean simpler traffic movements for users. First, drivers approaching the roundabout will only have vehicles coming toward them from the left. Lane markings that begin well before the roundabout help drivers know which lane to be in. If a car is traveling through on US-17, they can be in either lane and will not have to change lanes. The geometry of a modern roundabout also helps to naturally slow traffic, and vehicles generally travel at a fairly consistent speed through the intersection. Finally, pedestrian crossings are placed prior to the traffic merging point so drivers aren't faced with both pedestrian and vehicle conflicts. To help enhance safety and manage speeds within the corridor until the planned improvements are constructed, temporary traffic signals will be installed at the US-17 and Spring Garden Ranch Road intersection. These signals will be removed once the roundabout is operational. This project will be constructed in phases to maintain traffic flow on US-17. During Phase 1 of this project, new northbound traffic lanes, shoulders, ponds, and ditches, as well as a shared use path, will be constructed to the east of US-17. All northbound and southbound US-17 traffic will remain on the existing traffic lanes. During Phase 2, both northbound and southbound traffic lanes will be shifted to the newly constructed northbound lanes, allowing reconstruction of what will soon become the southbound lanes. New shoulders, ponds, and ditches will also be constructed for those lanes. Upon completion of Phase 2, all US-17 southbound traffic will be shifted back to the newly widened southbound lanes with the northbound lanes being restriped and opened for a now two-lane northbound traffic flow. We are currently in the design phase of the project schedule. Final design is anticipated to be completed in early 2023. Right-of-way acquisition was completed under FPID number 410251-1 in 2022. Construction costs of $29.7 million are funded with work beginning in summer of 2023. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by August 28, 2022, 10 days after the public meeting, 
will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please submit a written comment form. All written comments will be responded to in writing. To submit a comment or question online, please type the comment or question in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 410251-3. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at shelley.chinqui at dot Dot fl dot us, or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5439 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 410251-3 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then, click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by August 28, 2022. Contact information a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 410251-3. Have a good evening.